Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're gonna be doing Would You Rather once again. Yes! Now, as some of you know, I really, really love this game. Um, it's it's perfect because it's the perfect blend of being able to just like express my opinions and things about life, as well as playing a game, and it's the perfect mixture. Anyways, I'm really excited to get started, so let's just get right into this with Would You Rather not be able to sit or not be able to stand okay okay i think i'm gonna go with not be able to stand <laughs> truth is that if you can't stand you can always sit and just ride around a wheelchair it's the same thing as just being you know disabled whereas if you can't sit you have to stand forever that is so uncomfortable like you'd never be able to sit. You'd barely be able to function in society. At least if you can't stand, society, you know, has things in place already because of disabled people and people in wheelchairs where you can still function basically the same um, for the most part. So I'm gonna go with not be able to stand. Wait, did I answer this wrong? If you'd rather, if you could not sit, you would have to always stand. If you can't stand, you'd always have to say, yeah, no, I picked right. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Would you rather fly like Superman, travel like Spider-Man? Now this is a tough question because being able to fly would be so fucking cool. But if you could travel like Spider-Man, you know, like shooting the webs, that means you can shoot webs and loophole. Here's the loophole to this question. If you can travel like Spider-Man, you can basically do everything Spider-Man can do minus the super strength and spider sense. So I'm gonna go with travel like Spider-Man. People don't go as in depth as I do, I feel, when it comes to these kinds of things. Would you rather erase Canada off the map? Erase New Jersey off the map. Hands down, no, con no question about it, New Jersey. Thank you, world. You restored some faith. A spoonful of cinnamon, snort mustard. Eat a spoonful of cinnamon. I mean, people did the cinnamon challenge for a reason, not the snort mustard challenge. And don't make that a challenge, please, because I don't want to end up doing it. Live in a homeless shelter with internet access. Live in an amazing home, isolated from any outside contact. What's the point of having an amazing house if you can't interact with people from the outside? You can't even use the internet. You're basically just sitting in a prison masturbating your time away just happen it uh, i'm gonna go with living in a homeless shelter with internet access you guys don't understand what that implies what living in an amazing home isolated from any outside contact now that sounds awesome to a lot of you people because you're like yeah i get to be a hermit and just sit in my house watching netflix no no you don't well maybe you can watch netflix but that's about it how are you gonna order stuff on amazon hmm Hmm? That's interacting with the outside world, in my opinion. Out of your own pocket eat, that grammar. Uh, would you rather 40 quarters, $1,000 bills? I mean, that'd be a waste of $1,000, but it'd be a lot easier to eat. 40 quarters will kill you. So I'm gonna go with, yeah, 40 quarters will kill you. Don't try that at home, kids. You will die. Would you rather move away for 10 years from your family with no contact with your family for an additional 20 years after you're 18. Live with my family. I love my family. I love my mom. I would love to live there until I was 38, assuming I would not be a social pariah for it. Would you rather have 300 horses or have a car with 300 horsepower? 300 horses? What kind of fucking question is that? Really, people? You could have a horde of 300 horses. You could build basically a functioning cavalry with 300 horses and some swords. Would you rather be a ghost or be a vampire? Be a vampire. What the fuck is up with today? Why can't anyone agree with me? Why would you want to be a ghost? You could live forever as a vampire having sex and drinking blood, which yeah, sounds gross, but if you're a vampire, it's delicious. It's basically the human equivalent of being super rich, immortal, and being like fucked 24 seven while you eat a fucking hoagie. Like that sounds fucking amazing. Would you rather live alone on a tropical island or live with other people in Antarctica. With other people in Antarctica. Being alone sucks. I mean, for long, long periods of time. Like, we're not meant to just be by ourselves. Would you rather stab yourself in the stomach with a five inch blade or cut off the tips of your own fingers? Stab myself with a five inch blade. Thank you very much. Would you rather have 17 testicles? I, I already know what I'm gonna pick. I, I already know. Have one testicle the size of a coconut. That's called cancer and no, I'm gonna go with 17 testicles. What the fuck? 
It's hard enough having normal sized balls. But if I had a coconut ball, I couldn't wear pants. I'd have to walk around in a kilt. Every time I sat down, it would hurt. Would you rather receive $5 a day for the rest of your life or receive $50,000 right here, right now? $50,000 right here, right now. That sounds nice. Cool, $500 a day for the rest of my life. Yeah, you're gonna make a lot more money. No, let's do the math real quick. Five times three, six, five. That's $109,000. So you make twice as much money, but it's spread out over the course of your life and most of that's probably gonna be spent on Starbucks or some useless shit like that, right? Or if you get $50,000 right now, you can either buy something really big or you can invest that and make it a lot more money. Would you rather be topless all the time, be pantless all the time, topless all the time? I think the world would be a better place if no one wore shirts. Would you rather have to get around on all fours all the time or only make animal noises? Get around on all fours, man. How are you gonna talk to people if you, you, you can't fucking speak? All right, let's find one more. Okay, well, like, the next one was the best. Okay. Would you rather fight all the original Power Rangers in their Megazord robot or fight Optimus Prime? I'm gonna lose to both of those. If I was going from the perspective of who would I have a better chance against, I would fight the Megazord because, like, as cool as the Megazord is, it's not sentient. The Power Rangers are, but, like, Optimus Prime, not only is he also a giant robot, but not only is he also sentient, but he's a fucking general. Like, he knows how to fucking murder someone. Have you watched Transformers? Like, he is savage as fuck. But as far as, like, would I rather fight, I'd rather fight Optimus because he's cool. And if I had to choose one to be killed by, I would choose to be killed by Optimus. So, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later. Later.